Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. I am here today with another Beauty and the Beast tutorial. So last week we did Belle, so now we're going to of course draw the Beast. Now bear with me because it's the Beast and he can be a little bit intimidating, but if you bear with me, I'm sure we're just going to get him just fine. So I've got a kind of angry look looking Beast here, but then again, he's most of the whole movie, he's pretty angry. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually going to turn my paper to go this way for this particular image of good old Beastie Boy. Not from Teen Titans, we're drawing Beast. <laughs> In other words, Prince Adam from Beauty and the Beast. I'm gonna go ahead and do this kind of side shape thing going on right here. <laughs> then what I'd like to do is I want to go ahead, make this, come down and then I'm gonna circle back up. After that, since this is going to be his face, what I'd like to do is I want to go ahead and we're still gonna divide where the down the middle of his face is and of course I'm gonna go ahead and add that eye line. So where I usually like to start with the beast, I like to start with his nose. So his nose, since we're doing a three-quarter view, so we're seeing more of this side as opposed to this side. I want to start with his nose first, coming up here. You're going to make this triangle coming from the middle line to that eye line. And then you're going to bring this part down. And you're going to circle up. Then you're going to go back up and connect to right here. After that, you're going to make a heart shape, jumping out to the side, going to that middle line. Just bring it all the way down, and we're going to go ahead and circle right back up. After his nose is placed, that's when I like to go ahead and place his eyes. So I've got one eye right here. I'm going to start just making this top of the eye, and I'm going to circle down and back into his nose. And then I'm going to jump over here, and on the same eye line, we're going to go ahead and circle up on that eye line, bring it over, bring this down, and we're just going to make it smooth and go in. Thing is, since he is really angry, he's going to have one of his eyebrows, I say one of his eyebrows because he's got like two, <laughs> but one of his eyebrows is going to cover up this top of the eye, so we're just going to leave this alone for right now. So we have some kind of other nose ridge going on above this part, which is kind of furry. I'm going to go ahead and jump over here and circle in like this. Then I'm going to go ahead and build up over here. And we're going to make that first eyebrow that I, that I always see. You're going to jump out off to the side and go back into his face. And then I'm going to jump over here above his eye. You're going to go ahead and give him that angry eyebrow and it's going over his eye right there. So there's one angry eyebrow, we've got his eye, so that means I can go ahead and color in this eye. So no matter what, Beast has really kind looking eyes just because he's just, poor guy, you'd be depressed too if you were stuck in a Beast body. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and make a shine in his eye right here, we're going to give him his pupil, and for the rest of his entire eye, it's just blue. That's all we can see is his blue eye. So I'm just going to cover in, color in his pupil and lightly shade in that blue eye over there. So let's go ahead and finish up this side of the face while we're over here. I'm going to jump down from here, define his eye socket a little bit more. It's going to go outwards and then it's going to go into his nose. So we have his nose over here so it's going to go out and in. The best place to start this eyebrow, that's this one over here, I'm going to go ahead and chop off the top of his eye and circle this way. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring this up, curve it this way, bring it down, and that's that big ginormous eyebrow looking thing. <laughs> So I'm going to define his eye just a little bit more, bring down this side and scoop it upward and that's when I'm going to go ahead and give him a little bit of bag underneath his eye. 
and then from right here, I'm going to bring this down underneath that baggy part of his eye, go up towards this part, bring this down, and then I'm going to jump up here and start making one part of fur section. I'm going to circle down into here. And there's one section of hair so far. So I'm going to jump back up to his eye, get rid of that top half, and go ahead and do the same over here. Angry eyes. I'm going to go ahead and make the pupil iris area all the way in the corner of his eye. Make that shine, give him his pupil. And he has those blue eyes. So his nose ridge actually has like, it, it's this furry part. So it looks almost like a leaf. So you just wanna go ahead and give him a couple of furry parts going across his nose ridge. Big eyebrows are very furry. So you just wanna go ahead and give a couple of furry areas. And then building up off of these eyebrows, you're gonna make more eyebrows. <laughs> so that up here, you're gonna go up and down. And then I'm gonna jump over here, right across from these, go up and down into this eyebrow. I'm gonna go up Go ahead and give that huge hump on his back. And I'm gonna jump back here. And start bringing down this main part that's, it's when I say main, it's almost like, a, it looks like a huge lion's mane just going down. And you're actually gonna bring this down. And you're gonna go into that section couple of little furries on his nose here. Let's get to his nose. So the thing about his nose is it's curved downward. So we're gonna leave this section here. And from right here at the corner, you're gonna go up and curve downwards. And then you're gonna jump on top of that to find that a little bit more, square it off. And then you're gonna jump inside Give him that nostril, and the nostril's gonna go upwards. Bring this down, bring this down. Now the cool thing about this is you can, since the light is hitting the top of his nose, you can go ahead and shade this in, and since this is his nostril, I'm gonna shade in his nostril a little bit more. Then from here, from underneath his nostril, you're gonna go ahead, bring down the first part of his lip. From underneath his nose, you're gonna give that a little bit of division of a lip and come out this side. Circle upward. Make sure it's a little bit frowny. And then back into that section where we divided his lip. We're gonna go back to up here. This part of his section right here, that's a dark brown part. So that's where we can go ahead and circle underneath this eye over here to show that dark brown part. But we're gonna come over here and we're gonna make this side of his mane, I don't know. Circle back down and into the part of his face. So we can get rid of this part but what I'd like to do is I wanna jump over here, give one little tooth on the edge of his lip here, and then curving the exact same way, another little tooth. And then we have a section coming from his nose over here, just a little itty bitty line from this part of his nose 
and that line will connect with this line right here. It's not connecting, but it's, clo it's the same line. It's going to curve downwards and into his lip. And you're going to jump down from the lip, curve this, and then I'm going to jump over here on the other side of the lip and curve this downwards. And you're going to follow that, that same shape. It's going to curve outwards, bring it down, you're going to curve right into the rest of his lip. But this is another section of hair in here, so what you're going to do is you're going to go in the middle, right where this lines up with the division of his lip, right here. Bring this down, jump over here just a little bit, and bring this part down. Bring part, bring this over, and then go up. Line alongside that line we just made. And go ahead and square this off. Here, and then a line here, and a line here, and a line here, and then I'm gonna make his, I'm gonna call it his goatee, a little furrier around. Up on this side of this eyebrow, we have another section of hair, and I'm just gonna go ahead and bring this down. We're gonna make it a little bit boxy, and it's gonna line up with this one. We're gonna bring this in. Just make it boxy. And this one is actually going to go ahead and bring this one down and into his goatee. Go ahead and make this nice and furry. Get rid of this line. And then you're gonna jump up on this side of this eyebrow and we're going to make it just boxy again. We're, gonna, we're not going to worry about giving its fur yet. And it's just going to go right alongside and into this section. So once we have this one overlapping this one, go ahead, give it its fur. Going to make a box, big box right there. So we make this big box right here connecting from the second angry eyebrow over into here, but before we finish the box off, we're going to make an ear. So it's a pretty simple ear, it looks almost like a, a cow ear. So I'm going to go out this way and then round it down and into that section of hair. And then I'm going to go ahead and divide it up. So here's the top of the ear. And then here's the pink part of the ear. I have one box here, now we're going to make a box over here. So I'm going to jump all the way over to this side. And that box is going to go right down into angry eyebrow, the top of the first angry eyebrow. And go up and behind over here. So you see how they're somewhat level, but one is sticking out more than the other. So from my box, I'm going to circle upward Go up, go right back down into my box, and then I'm going to jump over here, nice and pointy, circle back downward. I'm going to go across that other corner of my box, I'm going to go right back down. And then I'm going to jump to this box, and I'm going to circle it inward. I'm just going to round that off. We have one horn. Now let's jump to this side. So from starting at this corner, I'm going to go down. And then I'm going to go up. After I go up, nice and pointy, I'm going to go down. And then I'm going to go right back into the box. And then I'm going to bring, I'm going to curve off this side of my box over here. Not that line. And I'm going to make a line right here. 
and you just want to make sure that all flows into each other. From the second angry eyebrows, you have another section of hair going up the hump of hump of his back, and you're gonna go bring this section of hair up and just off to the side, and then this section above this angry eyebrow, you're just gonna go ahead and bring it backwards, and I'm gonna lightly draw through my horn. And just bring down that section of section of hair. So what I want to do next is I'm going to make a, a line here, a line here, and a line here. Now on top of here, what I'd like to do is I'm going to go ahead and give him those furry bits and pieces of his hair. So you've got hair here and hair here. And back behind his ear, I'm going to make a furry section right here as well. Now underneath this part of his goatee, what you're going to make is you're going to go ahead and make that little medallion that's on top of his cloak. So you're just going to make a circle, circle this around, and back off to the side. I'm going to jump all the way to up here, like a line here, going back this way. And you of course have this definite line right here. So that's the first part of his cloak. Bring this down, circle back into here. And I'm just gonna bring this down. And then I'm gonna jump all the way to this furry part, which we actually have to make furry. So I'm gonna go ahead and give him some furry spots. And I'm gonna jump right here. And here's the other part of his cloak. So it's gonna go out this way. And this will circle into that medallion part of his cloak, the medallion holding his cloak. <laughs> and I'm going to jump back to the medallion, circle it this way. And I'm going to give a couple more layers to his cloak because his cloak is flying off that way. I don't even know if it's a cloak, it's just some kind of like piece of curtain that he ripped down from his castle and used as a cape. <laughs> And I'm making a couple of other lines just to signify that that is his cape thing. So I'll start from here, and then lead into here, and another, and another. Now before we wrap this up, I want to go ahead like I did with my Zootopia characters, and I want to show you the different colors on the beast's face with some Copic markers. So let me go ahead and grab those. Well, there you guys go. There is how to draw the beast. He's a little difficult, I, I know. He's he's definitely difficult and I apologize for jumping around. And maybe, usually when you put the browns on the beast's face, because he has so many different versions of brown on his face, he becomes so much more alive and you actually can see the beast. I know he's difficult, but I think he is like seven animals in one. <laughs> so, hey, at least he turns into a gorgeous prince at the end. But yes, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. And next week, let's go ahead and do Gaston. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I can't wait for the March 17th live action film of Beauty and the Beast by Disney. I'll see you all later. Bye!